Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and as promised, here's my iPhone 3GS 5.0.1 unlock video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your baseband to 6.15.00 and unlock on any carrier or SIM card, for example, T Mobile. Now, this video will serve two purposes. For one, of course, it'll show you how to unlock your iPhone, and two, it will show you guys how to fix the no service error many of you guys get on iOS 5.0.1. So, say you already have the 6.15 baseband you installed ultra snow you wait to get service and there's no service you just get an error that's very common it's okay this video will show you guys how to fix that as well as the 5.0.1 unlock and because they're so close together basically the same steps I put it into one video all we're doing is reflashing your baseband and it's the same thing as if you're unlocking for the first time yes this is an untethered jailbreak so no more restarting using a computer this is both for new and old boot ROMs and of course this does work on both Mac and and Windows. Now I just want to say that not all iPhone 3GS's will be compatible with this unlock. It's the more recent ones made after the 35th week of 2011 that won't work and you can check that by going into general, about, scrolling down to your serial code, and the third, fourth, and fifth number have to be less than 135. Mine is 017, which means I am compatible. If yours is 135 or above, you are not compatible with this unlock. So don't attempt it, or you could brick your iPhone 3GS. Now, the majority of you guys will be on iOS 5.0.1, and that's what we want. If you go into settings, general, about, you can check right there. See, mine's on 4.3.3. And your guys' baseband on 5.0.1 will be 5.16.05. Now, if you're like me, you're not yet on 5.0.1, I want you to go ahead and update, go into iTunes and click update, wait a bit, and you will end up on 5.0.1. Now, for those of you that are not on 5.0.1, but do have the 6.15.00 baseband, what we're all going to have in the end, I want you to go ahead and make a custom restore in Red Snow, because if you just click update in iTunes, your iPhone will not boot up after the restore, so you're going to go into extras and you're going to create a custom IPSW. If you don't know how to use that or do that, you can read the description down below. There will be a link to my site and you can read all about it there. Now I'm going to go ahead and update my iPhone 3GS to 5.0.1 and once that's done, I'll be right back. And just to let you guys know, Red Snow will activate your iPhone so you don't need to worry about activation. You don't need an AT&T SIM card, but okay, I'll be right back. And one more thing, I just want to let you guys know that any iPhone 3GS baseband can be converted to 6.15.00 at this point so you don't need to worry about preserving your baseband while updating in the end we'll all have 6.15.00 and one last thing before we begin if your iphone becomes unresponsive aka bricked at any point in this video i just want to let you guys know that there is a link right there that'll take you to my 3gs restore video which will show you how to fix your 3gs so if it doesn't turn on get stuck at the apple logo don't panic there's always a way to fix a bricked 3gs so let's go ahead and begin now my iPhone has just finished restoring. It's now on 5.0.1. Of course, not activated yet. That's what Red Snow is for. And we're going to need to download three things to our desktop. One, Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 3. Of course, our iOS 5.0.1 IPSW and iDetector. This is optional. It's basically for the people that don't know whether they have a new or old boot ROM. And the reason you need to know is because Red Snow asks you. But if you run it real quick, uh, it has a big button. You'll put your iPhone into DFU mode, then click it, and it will tell you. Now, the process to find your old or new boot ROM on a Mac is slightly different, and it will be in the instruction guide down below. And of course, all links to these things can be found down below in the description. There will be a link to my site where you can find an in-depth guide, as well as all of the links there. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Now we're going to right-click on Red Snow, run as administrator. This is, of course, on Windows. Yes, and we're going to go into extras and select our 5.0.1 firmware. Okay, and this is where it's going to ask you if you have a new or old boot ROM. I already know I have a new boot ROM, so I'm going to click yes. And now we're going to go to jailbreak. Wait for it to patch the kernel. Once we're at this menu, if you're like me, you've just restored to 5.0.1, you want to make sure install Cydia is checked. Or, of course, if you've never jailbroken before. For everybody else that already has Cydia, you've jailbroken, you want to make sure it's unchecked. You don't want to run it again. And for those people that have the no service errors and you already have the iPad baseband, you want to make sure install iPad baseband is checked too, because we're basically reflashing your baseband in order for you to get service. And of course, if this is your first time unlocking your 3G, Yes, you want to make sure the install iPad baseband option is checked. So go ahead and check the options you need. 
yes we want to do this and as I mentioned before this is where it'll tell you that it's not compatible with the 135 or later serial codes yes I want to do this and click next now we're gonna go ahead and put our iPhone into DFU mode so click next I'm gonna skip the power button step so hold home and power for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button now for some holding the home button until you get the white screen helps a lot if it doesn't work the first time try that the next time and if you guys get any kind of errors during using red snow make sure to read the guide down below there will be an error fix there and this will take about 10 to 15 minutes so i'll be right back as soon as that's done all right my iphone has finished jailbreaking and unlocking and i'm just going to quickly take you through the setup process so we're going to click next next and you want to make sure disable location services is checked because you don't want to enable it it will cause you to have spotty network reception so you will lose service a lot and have bad service you're gonna click next okay and of course set up your Wi-Fi I'll do that in a bit set up as new iPhone unless you have a backup and agree agree don't send start using iPhone now let's slide over to Cydia and open it up. And once you're in Cydia, if it's your first time opening it, make sure to select user, unless of course you're a developer. But okay, once you're inside, you're going to search for Ultra Snow and you're going to install it, then reboot. And I'm just going to do that real quick. So install, confirm. You're going to wait for this to finish and hit restart. Now after your springboard restarts, you want to make sure you reboot your iPhone too. And if there's any SIM card inside, make sure to take it out. So hold the power button and reboot once your iPhone has restarted go ahead and slide to unlock and take out your sim card tray now put in your T-Mobile sim card and go ahead and put it in your iPhone now it may take a little bit but it will find service in the end if it's not finding anything you want to go into settings and turn airplane mode on and off a few times and if still it doesn't find service, you can always reflash your baseband using red snow. That always works for me. But okay, so once it finds service, I'll be right back. And there you go. My iPhone 3GS has found T-Mobile service, as you can see right there. And you guys are now fully unlocked, untethered, jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1. Now, if this video did help you guys jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 3GS, if you liked it, I would very much appreciate it if you rated this video. It does help me a lot. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below below I will try to get to them and of course subscribe for more great videos now I will be releasing some new videos soon so stay tuned for that and guys enjoy your jailbroken and unlocked iPhone 3GS on 5.0.1 peace